Hi Pisces, this is going to be a reading here for February 2023. Happy birthday, let's see what we got for you here Pisces. Let's grab your Celtic cross and a love spread. What do we got for my Pisces? I see there being a party at your house. Something, some function here that you've organized. Maybe you've been saving up to throw this function. Could be a birthday party, could be your birthday party. Or it could also be an anniversary of some kind. And if that's not happening this month, it could be happening for you in April, but you're organizing it now. I'm seeing for most of you it's now though. Okay, you've come a long way and you want to celebrate some success that you've had in your life. You are making this a very closed event rather. So it's going to be it's going to be a big party, but it's for less people, right? And you're keeping it a total secret. You don't want everyone to know. I see the main thing on your mind is raising your standard for some uh for this event and for yourself going forward. I feel like you bought some new furniture, made some new plans here. You could have gotten a new place or are planning to, right? And this secret and this secret party is to celebrate that. You've been very patient here with the plants and you're learning what you have to learn about the place you may be moving to, um, the price, the area, what are things like over there? What does the shop have over there? All these different kind of details you're straightening out. I feel like you're guarding your spirituality at this time very highly. You're not wasting any time talking to naysayers or people that have thrown mud on you in the past. I feel like you're staying close to family this time around, this month. You've possibly in the beginning of the year, you've drawn a whole bunch of things you wanted and you've accomplished those already as well. And you're on to making a new list, okay? How others may be seeing you right now is very maybe attractive, but they don't really know what's up with you. Maybe they're concerned uh, that you may be hiding something. They find your energy very addictive and they really like to know more about you every time. But a part of them is intimidated because they don't really know who you are. I feel like you've got a lot of new eyeballs and new attention on you, but a lot of people don't know who you really are. And you're, you're trying not to sweat that stuff, but it's something about you is very magnetic to others. And some people are sh feeling shady about you and some people are just embracing the sexy or something like that. I feel like you're just making moves. You're not of much words these days. Maybe you're posting photos and people are just like, wow. But you're not, like you're someone who used to be talkative and you must have shared a lot, but now I see you doing less and less of that, all right? And I feel like the main reason is because you have regrets for that. Uh, I guess it's like you're changing your whole circle. I think it's more like that, Pisces, and you don't want to really regret that. Okay, so your hopes and fears here have something to do with resistance. Maybe by July, you need to have something ironed out. This could be... Uh, this could be something you were working on with your past friends. So maybe they caused delays for you when they abandoned the project. You may know something about what Leo's going through. Maybe you're dealing with the Leo here. Okay, seven. So something about the month of July. Maybe it was supposed to happen by July and some pushed back. Or maybe it's something like you... Um, could be July or it could be the next seven days. It could be a lot of different delays next week. Oh man, I don't know really what that is. It's gonna be different for all of you here. And the outcome I'm seeing the death card and the four of swords. Death card and the four of swords. Some serious ending or you could be attending a funeral here. I feel like this serious ending has you really changing a lot in your life. Maybe you've grown ill about the, the abrupt change maybe there's something that puts you in a hole and you got in deep trouble so you need to lay low for a while for most of you i'm seeing it's a it's such a big change that it just begs for you to have some alone time and you're going to be shifting your reality here after some vital conversations about anxiety all right 
Now let's see for your love spread. Pisces to the person. The person, the Pisces. That one. Could be dealing with Aquarius, some of you. Okay. Main thing I'm seeing here is yes. You're healing your emotional battery that has been burnt out and you're doing this by embracing your sex life. Um, you're communicating this openly, how you feel about how the changes have hurt you or some change, some recent changes or turmoils have hurt you and you're using sexual healing to recover yourself. I feel like you're taking a lot of time to plan these new steps and you're getting a lot of support from your partner here. Um, And you are psychically manifesting a better life. This emotions from the heart. Having to deal with all of the different lacks you faced last year. Some message about last year. You want everything about this year to be different here. Now, your partner is feeling very happy and attracted to you here. Uh, they may have had to discuss a lot of serious different things with you that have changed the way you look at things. But I do feel that you are now taking stock of that and you're respecting it as well. You're, you're maybe something they had denied you you've forgiven them that and you're just you two both are moving forward cordially and on the same page and you're not letting your fears or doubts stop your progress I feel like you two have gotten back on the same page after effective communication and some time in the bedroom so I feel like you now are planning this properly A to Z and you're more how to say that you're more on the same page here right you're agreeing about this you're coming to common ground about this whereas before you differed you made maybe an emotional plea and your partner said no this is not going to happen like that we can't do it like that and they weren't taking uh no for an answer you had to agree with them but later on i feel like they were able to persuade you with more facts instead of just saying no. And I feel like you were more understanding the second time that you had that conversation. All right, Pisces, that's what I'm seeing here. I'm sorry if it sounds confusing. My energy is so awful today. But I love you guys. See you on the next one. Good luck here, right? Bye.